personally, I would say that I always developed a sense of responsibility. I always understood that kids could imitate violence. So I did believe in the rule that if there was something that was easily imitatable by a child, we shouldn't do it. But it was fantastic. It's OK. Um, I, I also very early on believed that you should that kids would respond to positive messages if you presented them either subtly or you were on the nose with little, like at, in the G.I. Joe, we'd have little 30-second interstitials that Hasbro agreed to do, which I thought I pushed for, where we would just nail it. It would be 30 seconds based on any number of things. Kids don't do this or do this, little, little uh, tidbits of positive information. Um, and by the way, today, when I talk to millennials, they remember, or, or older, X, Y, X generation, mm -hmm. they talk about how much they learned from those shows in a positive way and how much they liked them. Mm -hmm. So my philosophy was, if the violence wasn't imitatable, it was okay, because kids Want, they want to be excited, just like adults who watch all kinds of programming. Kids are no different. They're, they want a variety of things. Um, but I did always feel very responsible. And as a matter of fact, uh, there's some things that we did at Fox and, and everywhere that I'm really proud of. At Fox, John Walsh was a big star of Fox, primetime. So I went to John and said, John, I'd like to create something where you're on camera, but we have some sort of little vignette that we shoot to teach kids about safety, all kinds of safety. And we did create this series that was very successful with this little vignette where you'd see, a, for example, you'd see a, a little boy walking down the street and a guy in a convertible would pull over to the side and say, I'm looking for my puppy. Can you help me find my puppy? Come on, get in the car with me, and we'll go look for my puppy. And then John Walsh would step into the scene and say, uh-uh. So we did a series of those vignettes, and I got several interesting letters, one from a police officer in Pennsylvania, I don't remember the town, where a little girl had gone to her teacher to talk about how she was being molested by a family member. Well, in our, we had a vignette that said, if anybody is making you feel comfortable, if they touch you in any way, you go tell a trusted adult, someone you trust, like a teacher or someone. And so the little girl did that and reported mm -hmm. it to the police. We got, we got another, another uh, we had a spot in uh, Power Rangers, at the end of Power Rangers, or in the store, where we told kids how if they, I can't remember the specifics, but it was to duck, duck your head, how to roll if something hit you and you were falling. We got a letter from a father whose son was hit by an ice cream truck, flew through the air, missed the curb, fortunately, but he tucked, he, he rolled, and when the paramedics came, and they discovered he was only knocked his breath out of him, but he was perfectly fine, and the little boy said, I learned this on the Power Rangers, I tucked my head. So, I know that for a fact that there are ways, there are things that we can do that are effective. And that's where I felt we were, mm. we shouldn't water down our programming, but we should add, enrich our programming by adding things like that to it. 